Let's add a new curved dimension line. Go to the zero ground floor plan and in the info box, activate the arc length geometry method. Click on one of the curved wall end segments. The wall is highlighted and small nodes appear at the endpoints. Click on the window corners and the end node of the other wall end segment to add points to the chain. Then click on the common node of the middle and the first end segments to delete this needless dimension reference point. Double click in any empty space and drag to place the dimension line to a position above the wall. Click to place the dimensions. Now let's dimension the curved wall's radius. Activate the radial dimension tool in the more section of the toolbox and open its settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the radial dimension favorite from the Lesson 25 Favorites folder. In the Dimension Type panel, select without center point as the dimension type and set the marker size to 1 mm. Then select the Dimensioning Structure layer and click OK. Click on the internal perimeter line of the curved wall with the thick three-pointed star cursor to set the place of the arrowhead. Click inside the entrance area to place the dimension line. 